was cast netting a little bit ago and learning that and kind of spooked the fish before I fed him. Oh, there was one. And our duck fail, duck pond fail. You see them up there? As far as they've came out, it's right at the edge of that shadow, pretty much. I swear we got liberal ducks. Well, in their safe space, oh well. They'll learn. As soon as they're ready, they'll come. Like this pond, hopefully here in another month, we'll have another one done up top there. Oh, that's getting ousted. And we're gonna put in a 40 or 45 by, probably 85 by 90 or something like that. Or 85 to 90. Up there, wait for a year or so to let it fill. I think it's just gonna be run off. I don't think I'm gonna find a spring up that high. But, uh, yeah. Gonna be our future bass pond slash swim pond. It's also gonna have solar aeration. And uh, I think about five to six feet deep in the middle and then gradually tapering off for bass pond and friendly uh, for the kids to swim. All right, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, we're still keeping this on, of course. It's been a good little pond. Hanson's did this one and uh, didn't have time to get back with me on that next one, so I figure he's too busy. Just have this other guy do it if, he cheap, if he's cheap enough. Oh, what's that? Are they venturing out a little bit further? They probably eat that fern up there, I bet. Oh well. Just a little pond update, fish update, duck update. Another pond update. Might have another one dug right there, a little 20 footer to catch the overflow from that one and overflow into this one. If we can get her done cheap enough. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you would. Thumbs up if you would. Yep, that's as far as they go. And all they gotta do is right there. About 20 feet. Back to the safe space. Anyway, well, it's good at night. At least I know where to go.